Hello and welcome to the Crochet Business School podcast, where you can use your crochet to build a business that will give you the lifestyle you've been dreaming of. Do you ever feel completely uninspired? So when you sit down to do something, anything in your business, whether it's coming up with the idea for a new product, writing descriptions, writing a blog, creating a new video. You're determined to do something, but you sit down and you feel completely and utterly uninspired. It's kind of been one of those weeks for me. Last week, I had ideas come out of my head. I couldn't get things down fast enough. This week, not a lot going on. <laughs> it's, it's very frustrating. But you need to do something. So what do you do? I find that when I'm feeling this uninspired feeling, that it's kind of a sign that I need to take a break, that it's time to just take a day off. Whether it's just to pick up my hook and crochet away mindlessly or just go and do something that isn't related to crochet which sounds absolutely horrible, but it's when you're you do, using your crochet as a way to make money, sometimes you just need to walk away for a little bit. Sometimes it's, it's just one of those days that your brain just doesn't want to process it all. Or you could turn it around and use the uninspired feeling to start asking your audience questions, see how they're feeling, see what's uh, getting them excited about their life or their hobbies right now. I mean, I'm sitting here recording this podcast. Probably not the best episode I've ever done, <laughs> but, you know, we all get those times where we do feel uninspired. But we do feel like nothing is coming out, nothing is working, we're not getting anything finished. I've got a to-do list a mile long and I cannot focus on a single item on that list. It will go and I will get my mojo back and it will start, everything will start getting ticked off again. But just right now, that feeling of not being able to focus on anything, of not feeling the get up and go, it's quite frustrating. It's really annoying. <laughs> I feel like I want to do something and yet nothing is coming. It's not a great day in business, <laughs> but it will pass. But there's not a lot you can do about it, really. If you feel that you're overwhelmed and there's a million and one ideas running around in your head, that's easy to sort out. You sit down with a list and you just write. You write every single idea that's in your head and get it out. Because part of that feeling of being overwhelmed is having so many things running around in your head that you can't focus on a single one of them. So you write everything down so you can remember it later. So you get rid of that fear of forgetting something. It's all out on paper. You can see it all and you can pick some quick tasks to tick some things off your list. Overwhelm is relatively easy to deal with as long as you know how to deal with it. But when there's no ideas in your head, but you want to get something done, that's a bit more difficult. Because nothing is coming. You can't write a list of something that isn't there. And, well, when I've felt like this before, I've gone for the little things. Like, are there some photos I can edit? Are there some 
images for my social media I can quickly knock up for, say, next week or something. I end up rummaging around. I'll get a few little bits done, but nothing substantial. But at least I have something done. But these are the days where I end up scrolling on my phone through Facebook or Pinterest and feel like I've achieved absolute diddly squat. But it happens. It's part of life. It's part of running a business. These days happen. We can't all be 100% productive every single day. It doesn't matter what hyperactive coach you come across who say that they are in their routine and they have a great day every single day. It's all positive, like fields of roses. It's all great. Not all the time it isn't. If they say it is, they're lying through their teeth. Everyone has bad days. Everyone has days where not much happens. And it's okay. It is okay. It's frustrating as hell in the meantime. But everyone has these days. And one of the things I don't like about um, the world of coaching is that nobody talks about it. We're all expected to be happy, shiny, and full of, you know, va va voom all the time. That's just not how life works. And I think, to be honest, and to show you how business really works and what you can expect, you have to show the downsides as well. You have to show the bad days and how to get through those. And sometimes getting through those bad days is just to say, it's a bad day, nothing is getting done, I can't focus, let's just shut the computer down, throw the yarn into the corner and go and do something else. Because otherwise you just sit there getting more and more frustrated with yourself and it really doesn't do anything for you or your business. Sometimes you just need to call it a day. And you know what? Once I finish recording this episode, that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to shut my computer down. I'm going to go find something to watch on Netflix grab myself a bar of chocolate and just call it a night. <laughs> that's where we are right now. But that's fine. It's fine. It's just one of those days. So if you do end up feeling like this, you are not alone. Everyone has days like this. It happens to us all. And, yeah, the only advice I can give you is just go take a break. Instead of keeping that frustrated feeling going, instead of getting more and more annoyed with yourself, just walk away. Try again tomorrow. Have a break. No, have yourself some me time. Take care of yourself. And just give it up as a bad job for today. Tomorrow is a brand new day. And with a bit of luck, all those ideas and inspiration are going to come flooding back. So, thank you for joining me for this bit of a different episode. And I'm going to go off and find my chocolates. And think of something to watch. Probably a good murder drama. <laughs> And I shall see you for the next episode. Bye for now.